let's take an in-depth look at how to configure gauges in Racekeeper's Comparo HD data analysis software. For this, we'll open up an outing, in this case a McLaren racing around Long Beach. Uh, we've got a CAN link on this particular car, so we're getting things like RPM, throttle position as well. Let's pause the video with the spacebar and go up to the configure drop down and select gauge manager. Now the point to note on this gauge manager window is the text at the very top. This tells us how to turn on and off gauges, how to position them on the screen and how to scale them. So what we'll do is we'll turn on the speedo and then if we left click drag we can move the gauge around the screen and if we hold shift whilst left click dragging we can scale the speedo bigger, smaller, however we want. Now we can change the range of the speedo or we can change the background colour. We can even make it transparent if we wish and maybe even choose an OEM design. Uh, in this instance let's choose the Aston Martin GT4 design. Just move it over here on the left, scale it a little bit. We've got the ability to have a digital speedo reading as well. So. Um, 53 miles an hour, let's just scale this down, put this into this nice little window here and there we go, we can see both the digital and the graphic um, are both live updating as we move around. Now we've got the ability to change the colour of the text on the screen using this drop down, so let's change it to red and now let's turn on an RPM gauge and change it to the Aston Martin RPM gauge. Scale it up, position it so that it's generally in line with the other speedo. Turn on a digital reading, change the text to red, move it into the box, scale it down a bit and just move it into there. There we go and spacebar plays the video, you can see them live updating. Okay, so the next gauge of importance is the G meter. So again, click it on, move it around the screen. In this instance, we've got a cross which shows us both inline G and lateral G. Uh, but I can see here that it's going around the right hand corner and the lateral G is to the right. So it's something going wrong there's text here which tells us that uh, we've got this red arrow and depending on the orientation of the box inside the car we might need to spin this arrow so if we spin the arrow around all of a sudden the lateral G is pointing in the right direction if we're going around a right hand turn now I'm just going to change this design to a circular design because I find it a little bit nicer to work with and as the car hits the brakes and does a right hand turn up here you can see that the uh, the red dot on the circular display is a much better representation of the g-forces being applied to the driver as he's doing this street track okay so pausing again let's go up and turn the throttle display on uh, it's hidden behind the G meter at the minute, but uh, it's a bar chart with the word throttle written next to it. We can also turn on the gear number. Um, there it is. Uh, this can have a background or no background. Um, depends whereabouts on the page you want to put it. And Again, let's turn some of these gauges off and we'll have a look at the video, close gauge manager. Now what we can do is obviously left click drag some of these things over near the dash display and then left click on the internal shot makes the internal shot bigger. So we can now move the RPM value over towards the video perhaps see how in sync the video is with the live display on the uh, on the dash display inside the car 
And if we left click on the picture in picture, we switch images. So now we've got the main forward facing camera. It's a big screen and left click drag some of these values just to make them a little bit bigger. Let's move that over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look at one of the other gauge types. Open Gauge Manager again. We've got full screen data overlays. Now let's turn on Course Map and Lap Info, which tend to be the two most commonly used uh, data overlays. Close Gauge Manager, go into full screen mode, and now you can see up the top left hand corner some lap times. Let's just move the picture and picture. And over in the right, you've got the track map. Now these are both fully scalable. It looks like we've got white lap time, so let's double click on the big video and just open up Gauge Manager again and change the lap times font to red in color. There we go. So now our RPM speed and lap times all match. Now if we compare two laps against each other, let's choose two similar laps I think, the best way forward here, um, that one and that one, there we go, pretty similar those ones. Now we've just enabled a delta lap timing display and this will indicate to us whether outing one is faster or slower than outing two. So we can see that time is being lost at the moment. So outing one is currently slower by, well, it's coming up to almost half a second. And now it's, yeah, he's losing a good chunk of time now relative to outing two. And that's primarily because he's being held up in outing one. But you can again move the delta display around, scale it up, scale it down. Now let's pause this video, close the outing, and open a different outing. In this instance, I'm going to open up some vintage flight footage just to show you a couple of the other gauges that we've got available. Let's go and open up Gauge Manager and turn off the digital reading of speed and digital RPM. We haven't got RPM data, but we don't need it. And instead of the Aston Martin display, let's put airspeed on. And let's add an altimeter, which gives us our height from ground level. Now both the speed and the altitude are derived via the GPS. And let's just position these over. And you know, I'll let you need to get rid of the lap times and the course map because I don't need such things in this application. I'm going to scale these down so that we can see the wonderful landscape behind of the Derbyshire Dales. And the two gauges match. And as we can see, the sun is setting with this gorgeous bit of English countryside. Double click on the picture and picture to switch images. And there you go. That's some very basic training on how to enable, move, resize, and turn off gauges in Racekeeper Comparo. For more information on Racekeeper, be sure to visit www.race-keeper.com.